the Israelites were complaining that their strength was gone. Now Moses is saying he has no more strength. God doesn't give Moses leprosy or something. He helps him. God isn't out to get us. He wants to father us. Moses comes to God in utter weakness. But what's the difference between him and the others? He doesn't turn to others and complain. He doesn't give in to lusting after the flesh. He turns to God. God can handle hearing how Moses is feeling. The difference between Moses and the others isn't that he was somehow stronger than them. He was just as weak or more so. The difference was that he turned to God when he was feeling weak. He knew where his help came from. God gives him wisdom on how to lighten his load. God doesn't tell him to buck up. He makes it easier. A good father wants to provide and give his children everything, but he also knows a spoiled life doesn't produce the best results in their child's life. It would harm the child, not benefit them as they grew. A good father lets there be a struggle, supervised with encouragement, and lets his child overcome. For the rest of the Israelites, God does what I pray and ask him to never do for me. He gives them what they want. I don't want what I want if it's for my harm and not for my good. I'd rather God say no. I pray that I wouldn't ask for what's wrong. The Israelites want meat, and God gives them meat. It provides just a temporary pleasure. Hebrews 11.25 uses the phrase, the fleeting pleasures of sin. To get that one moment of satisfaction of what your flesh was craving, you can give up eternal reward. It's not remotely worth it. Compare the phrases, the fleeting pleasures of sin and eternal pleasures at your right hand. It should be a non-choice. The only reason to choose the fleeting pleasure is unbelief. Do you know the pleasure of God's presence in your life? Psalm 1611 says, In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Seek him until you find him and experience the joy of his presence, and then walk in that eternal pleasure that starts today and carries on forever. Believe he is with you and get to know him as your good, good father.